played Christina first UK tour yes. here. How's it, going? How's it going? Great, really, really good. I'm so excited to finally bring my show to Europe and, and do it my way. I want to talk to you about your latest single, The Voice Within. Yes. Uh, it feels very, very personal. Um, yeah. I think partly due to the video because I, I read that you did it in one take. David and I have done three videos thus far on this record. Mm. Uh, you know, starting out with the infamous Dirty. His genius was a part of it and made it explode. And then there was the Can't Hold Us Down video. You know, it's funny because you get the same director, you think you know what you're going to get because of our last few videos together, um, because we're both so not afraid to, you know, push those limits, but we're pushing them in a different way this time because we're going to the extremities of being so simple and so real to the point where there's no cutaway shots, there's no stop, cut, action. Most video shoots take one, two to three days, you know, in its entirety of, of making a video, and this one took a, a couple of hours. The album stripped is such a personal record to me, and having it be like my baby. I've written, produced, you know, executive produced it, it you know, really taken my time in, in every detail that goes into making the videos just as personal and make it making it match up, you know, um, where it feels right. As a part of what I'm in it for is, is to give out those positive messages and, and try to help him reach other people. Do you feel like you want to use your fame in a positive way like that? Absolutely. I mean, you know, of course. You know, my voice and, and music has always been uh, a passion of mine and a way for me to escape and, and it's been my form of release and expression and art and whatever you might want to call it. I mean, it's been amazing to me, but also on the, uh, on the other hand, I, I, I do um, hope that I, I use my position to help other people, um, whether it be to empower females, to make them feel more comfortable in their own skin, or to go out there and not be afraid. I just have to talk to you a bit about your whole look. Does it still... Which one? <laughs> Previous album, Christina Aguilera, yeah. you've now come and said you felt too manufactured, maybe you felt a bit claustrophobic. Now that you've made Stripped, how do you feel about the previous album? Um, I feel like I've, I've come up for some air after being kind of caught underwater for a while, you know? I mean, this this record Stripped has been a, a, a huge breath of fresh air and, and a... And a, and a a, a new life for me to be so comfortable and so open with every aspect of myself whether it be that vulnerable girl of me or whether it be the more sexual side of me whatever it is you know I've, I've been unabashed and, and, and unafraid to take those risks to try and open people's minds but yeah the first record I mean it was it was good for what it was it definitely got my foot in the door uh, you know doing the battle I can't knock it for what it was I mean it was great at the time but of course you know being pushed by the label and, and, and the marketing at the time and pop music, you know, driven to the over the top, you know, um, uh, uh, naval gang. <laughs> We're moving on from that. We have to talk about the Madonna kiss. The blue, every, <laughs> oh yes, my yes. goodness, three women kissing in the year 2003 oh caused my. controversy everywhere, <laughs> all over the world. I just actually agreed on, on uh, being a part of a threesome as a, you know, I thought it would be fun. So why do you think the press focus so much on Britney kissing Madonna rather than you Chris kissing Madonna? Maybe because, uh, you know, MTV cut away the shot to Justin <laughs> and you completely missed my kiss with Madonna, but <laughs> so ah. we'll blame MTV for that one. All in all, you know, I wasn't in it for the kiss necessarily anyway. I was up there to perform and who can turn down a performance with uh, Madonna, you know? <laughs> Do you feel that women are given the same opportunities within the music industry? Or do you um, think you have to stamp a bit more and... I, I think I think women definitely have to, you know, I mean, there's the whole stereotype that I do talk about and can't hold us down. You know, it's not only sexual, it's just an everyday um, life. You know, if, if the woman, you know, says something with a stronger or harsher tone, as a man might might do, you know, the man is almost praised for it and is taken more seriously than if the woman does it, oh, she's called, you know, a bitch or is labeled or stereotyped and, and, and has come down hard upon. But, you know, um, if that means that I'm a bitch just because I know what I want, and I'm not afraid to go for it, then that's what I am. Does it still, still surprise you that people talk so much about how you look? At this point, I, I think um, it's 
truthful to say and it's obvious to say that I don't care. I mean, you know, I've, I've gotten, you know, praise on one hand and criticism on the other. I mean, I'm not in it to play it safe. You know, I'm not in it to wear, you know, the, the pretty gowns and get on the best dress list. You know, that, that's not what I'm in it for. I'm not there to please everybody. I'm here to open minds, maybe offend people sometimes. And that's basically the attitude that I had uh, going into it all. Um, and I haven't backed down and I don't intend to uh, in the future, you know, <laughs> this is what I am and, and that's, that's what it's about.